Yeah, sure. the question is, uh, what are the bitter pills Sri Lanka will have to swallow to get us out of this crisis? <laughs> the question is not mine. Huh? Right, right. Now I understand. Uh, I don't think these are bitter pills um, in the sense that everybody will be affected. There are pills that might be bitter for particular groups of, of the country. And I would say, particularly the rich. Uh, the, the, the pattern of subsidies in Sri Lanka uh, is clearly skewed towards the, the non-poor. Uh, there's plenty of evidence now that le electricity subsidies uh, benefit people with air conditioners and uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, high users of electricity. Uh, so, yes, so there are bitter pills, but it's not for the people as a whole. And the people as a whole will actually benefit from this. Because first, we might be able to avoid a debt, uh, a, a debt crisis. And I agree with Governor uh, Cabral, uh, uh, maybe on this one thing, which is that Sri Lanka is not in debt default at the moment. Um, but there, there is a danger, uh, as in, in many countries in this situation, of a possibility of a debt default. Uh, and that's why I was saying that we need to uh, uh, do something about it uh, today. Um, but uh, so the, the downside risk is uh, that we do nothing. Um, uh, and so the bitter pill is for particular groups of the country who will, who, who will take a hit. But these are the people who have been benefiting from these subsidies all this time. So it's, it's payback time. 